All right, fingers crossed for a bit of finish this tree now without no interruptions, batteries dying on me and phone calls and it's all going on. It's nice. I'm really starting to like the shape of this trunk and that. Because that's exactly what we're trying to get. Some gnarliness to it. Now, like I said, there's them little buds just on the ends. So just here and there, I just want to touch with that black. Just indicate some of the buds on the ends of the branches. And then I'll probably stipple some in as well, in the heart of the tree. Yeah, I hope they have a cracking day, Ross, and uh, lots of presents. <laughs> now, we're getting close to the stage where I'm going to start wanting to stick a bit, because I'm wanting to put a few bits of highlight of snow on this as well. But just keep checking so that see the camera can see what I'm doing because I watched the other videos and I'm really really gutted at my rubbish filming attempts. Half of it you can't even see. All I can do is apologise and say I do my best for you guys. Right then, I'm just going to put that brush down for a second and then I'm going to use a fan brush. Should I use my little one? Yeah, we'll give that a try. My little one never fails me. A little tiny fan brush. What should fail me now? I've jinxed myself. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to get that dark colour and black and the lavender. Very dark, this is more or less in silhouette at this stage. There. And then just up in here, I want to touch and indicate some little stuff going on and bugs and stuff. You need some dark as well for the light to show. Bravery test. <laughs> so I know this tree is going to be quite a bit bigger than it is at the moment. It's probably going to go up, right up to there. Choose an, an upward motion. 
Uh, you've got to be brave. You've really got to be brave with it. Try and get some shape and form, but without killing it. You need to see through the tree when you're doing this. You really do need to see through it. When you run out of paint, you flip the brush over. Again, don't just kill everything. Show some of them stuff through, them branches especially. You're going right over that background as well that you've done. So you might be think, well, oh, what did you put it in for? The reason why is because you can still see through the branches what's going on behind. That's why. That's why we do that sort of thing. Also, I've put in a bit thinner with this colour, just a tiny bit so that it sticks, to help it stick. Not a lot, just a tiny bit because afterwards I'll probably use liquid white on its own with a tiny bit of crimson. And then that will uh... <laughs> Anyway, I'll just put it with a bit of crimson in it and it'll be cool. I just totally forgot what I was going to say then. I had a reason for it, but there you go. Ah, oh, that's nice. Just getting a few bits of form and shape on here. Just getting them buzz. That's what I was saying. When we put the white on, with liquid white, I'll put a bit of crimson to it and it'll make it so it matches the snow and stuff like that. I'm going to leave that lovely gap up there. I'm going to leave them uh, sticks and twigs showing. Maybe just put a tiny little bit of some buds on it. Not a lot though, just a couple. And then a bit of something going on in there. That's it. I want to show through though. Same with that one. And let it stay there and just show through. Getting some character to it, is this? It's one thing that Roz is actually good at, isn't it, Roz? Doing these bonsai trees and stuff. You've got some beauty. So I hope I'm doing it justice. Well, I love, I love painting these. I actually used to grow bonsai trees at one time. Got have a facility now, I used to have an allotment and everything. So I could grow all sorts of things. You never know, I might get one soon. Get another allotment again. I love to grow vegetables and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to kill that one. Just leave that. I'm going to make a few areas a tiny bit darker so that the snow will actually show up and stand out. Go over them branches. Good, good. Now I think we're getting somewhere near to where I want it to be and then I'll use another, probably a, I should think I'll use a filbert for highlighting these. So step back and have a look at that. I do like that but I just want to slightly change this one bit of shape by putting a couple more things a bit further out. Up there. Only bothered about when you're doing that. Push sure. up. It's like you're mushing it in there. Clean my brush off now. I'll see you all in a short while.